music, that's where I got my inspiration. So it was kind of arts, it was music, and, and just typically beautiful writing. Um, because it's all REM, it's, you're, you're processing subconsciously. Um, and so people try and process consciously and they go to the most obvious go-to places. And to my mind, you will never find a solution in the most obvious place. Hello. Hi, Willie. Hi. How nice to meet you. Come on in. What a super place. Thank you very much. Wow. So really, I'm, I'm drawn to this beautiful turntable and, and this stack of, of records. Um, what, what, is, what, what do you listen to? What is, what is your collection? Well, I've got a lot of jazz. Um, all that jazz. Um, all that jazz from Fats Waller to Frank Sinatra to and um, some ska, some old school bebop. Nina and are you one of these fanatics where um, like you're, the, the, the speaker costs 10,000 pounds or something? Absolutely not at all. <laughs> I think everything that I have is, uh, I've not spent a lot of money on. Yeah. You want the authenticity, don't you? You want it to crackle and hiss and... Well, I've always liked putting on vinyl. I used to DJ a little bit, so oh, I don't like, um, I, yeah, I always like putting on the vinyl. I always felt like I was cheating if I was playing from a... Yeah, that's my dream, is to be a DJ. From um, an iPod or something like that. <laughs> Is there any recollection of what you first? My first record mm. was Star Trekking. Star Trekking. <laughs> Star it was, um, yeah, on a seven inch. I can remember. remember my first one. What was my first one? Uh, Elvis Costello. I bought that in Sweden. In uh, northern Sweden, a place called Umeå. Into, uh, yeah. Our house always has music. Every room has music. The kids, and they t they've taken over my Spotify account, but I was always buying my music. And then I remember when you used to record uh, records from the radio on your cassette player. Did you do that? Yeah, yeah. making mixtapes. I, um, I, I, I had a great mixtape. I think I was 11. <laughs> and when I hear those tracks today, <laughs> brings it all back. It was a real skill, wasn't it? Yeah, you, you'd sit there, uh, Waiting for that chin to come. <laughs> and then there was a time where you would try and do that with uh, the video recorder uh, when the when MTV came out. <laughs> and then I I, I love your um, your double bass. Um, and what I what I'm when I look at that, I'm thinking, do you have to get into character? Do you have to wear that that very elegant smoking jacket <laughs> in, over, in order to release the energy? Because Not necessary. <laughs> But it, it is, um, it definitely it protects it from the sunshine anyway. Oh, I see. Mm. I was hoping you'd be wearing that and a berry and you'd have like one of those kind of the, Marlon Dietrich yeah. long cigarette things, you know. And Two Scottish boys in Paris. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> and so you said the tenements of, of Edinburgh. So you you hail from Edinburgh I do, originally, yeah. 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 And I'm I'm from Glasgow. Right. Um, I, I worked in Edinburgh. Right. Uh, for eight years. I can tell you my journey here, but you know, how did you get here? I was very much wanting to get out of Edinburgh in uh -huh. a sense. I didn't like Edinburgh. So why? why? There just always seemed there was so much more. There was so much more to see, so much more to do. I um, worked with a few people over uh, when I started doing lighting and um, they were very much, don't get stuck in Edinburgh. Yeah. Edinburgh is a beautiful place, um, but um, it, it does seem to have walls. 
you can get stuck stuck in your rut of being in that city Absolutely. and once you start that process once you start getting older and buy a house and everything that's where you stay mm. as much i mean you go away on holiday but you don't travel the world and, and what train did you jump on to get out of edinburgh well i jumped on the circus the train. circus yeah so the circus came to town and um i uh I managed to get a job with them just for the festival, for the Edinburgh Festival. And um, and I was determined if I would work hard enough, then I would uh, be able to run away with them and, and travel the world and do some fabulous things, yeah. see some different places yeah. I certainly wouldn't have without them. Can you think of the, what, the most fateful thing that happened to the young you? When you look back and you go, really? How on earth did, how did I go from A to B? Like. I guess that was when the circus came to town. <laughs> You joined the actual circus, I joined this mental circus, if you will. And here I found myself 20 odd years later, and I thought, this is the place, yeah?